This is the energy vibration lays in for the Aries Sun, Moon, and Rising sign for the year 2019. Okay, we're there. It's, it's, it's going to be a year of uh, you guys. It's, it's, it's going to be a lot in this year. Okay, so uh, you Aries, um, uh, you begin the year with the energy of the lovers. Okay, so um, there is going to be situations I want to thank you so much for being here thank you for the wonderful positive energies um, and you Aries um, you know thank you for the support that you have um, shown to me um, all you Aries that has been with me from the beginning thank you thank you so much well, you begin the energy with the, the, the ear with the energy of the lovers, and we're going to be looking forward. The quarter readings are out. Please remember to like, share these videos. It is very, very important. Like, share these videos because what is going to be happening and transpiring is that new things are going to be coming up on the channel. This reading is going to take um, a hour. Um, so um, you can pick up the rest of the reading on um, you can pick up the rest of the reading that is going to be happening the extended um, deal of the reading you can pick this up um, on on the mom okay because it's going to be um, a whole um, reading of uh, a, a month um, an hour or so okay so, let me get power in my computer, and we can start with your reading, you Aries. Okay, so let's see what else is going to be coming in for the other quartals. So, the first quartal is all online. Please go online and listen to the month of January until March, and um, cross watch. Cross watch is very important. Please like, share, leave your message for these videos. Okay. So we have the energy of the chariot and the magician coming in, the energy of the devil that is going to be, the sun is going to be coming out in June for you guys, showing you your enemies. Okay, the Wheel of Fortune is here for you guys, which is good. Justice is going to be coming in for you, Aries. Um, the Hermit is here in the month of uh, um, October. November, you have the Eye Princess and December you have to deal with an organization so some of you are going to be having some legal issues okay so whatever the situation is some of you are going to be having some uh, legal issues um, but we're going to be looking and see how you are going to be coming out the energy of the Sun is here but it's in the other quarters and the energy of the moon um, is here so you have to be careful um you have to be very very careful um in this year there's a lot that is going to be going on for you the eye princess the, the eye princess your spirit guides want you to look at yourself because there are going to be some situation now you Aries have the same energy of the Virgos okay so whatever is happening here is that you um, guys at the energies of the Virgo so um, be aware of that it is the hermit the energy of the hermit and judgment is going to be here to help you guys so um, you know um, it's very very important that you guys understand what is happening around you um, and uh, whatever the situation is is that you are going to be understanding. Got to take these pictures so that you guys can see what is coming up. 
So this is the energy of the year. And uh, um, as I see this, this, is this year is going to be a year of judgment. It's about the year of information coming out. It's the year of uh, you um, are at a point in your life where you have to make some decision of your own, okay? Um, when the energy of judgment comes out, it is like um, the universe is, uh, you know, forgiveness and uh, um, healing. It's, 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 it's really a year of uh, forgiveness, uh, rejuvenation um reconciliation it's a year of um forgiveness and reconciliation okay so um that is what you're going to be receiving it's a year of forgiveness and reconciliation okay so um for forgiveness and With conciliation okay so um, you guys have to be at um, the point where um, you have to forgive forgiveness is going to be the key in this year okay whatever is transpiring forgiveness is going to be the key in this year okay whatever that you have done to someone else so and acknowledging and um, releasing the past okay so um yeah um you have to release the past okay if you don't release the past you can't move on in your life okay so that's what's happening for you guys so, so let's go on and see what is going to be happening for you guys so check out please check out the readings um, that is there for the portal readings please check out those out because there's a lot of information that is going to be coming in now as we go and look at the energy of the lovers there's going to be some information that is coming out because um, in the general energies and please go and listen to the general energies um, you have in the month the general energy in the month of January is judgment so judgment information is going to be coming out about your partner and if it's not your partner it's your kids it's people around you so these information are going to be coming out how are you going to deal with these information that is another thing because that's why this year is a year of reconciliation okay because whatever the situation is there's just going to be some judgment call that is going to be coming out for you in this year okay and you're going to be in the month of january what is going to be transpiring is that you are going to be recognizing and seeing what exactly has transpired in your life and you're going to be finding out something about your partner okay if you don't have any partner it could be your kids if it's not your kids you're going to be finding out something about someone february the energy of the eye princess comes in with the energy of the star now your spirit guides are going to be very strong in the month of february so be aware of this Whoever your spirit guides is, they're going to be extremely strong in the month of February. So be aware and align with these energies, okay? As we look at March, the Wheel of Fortune comes up with the energy of the magician. This is going to also be a very positive um, situation where you're going to be finding your way out of whatever is happening. April, your month, your birthday month. Um, is the energy of strength but you have the energy of you're going to be overcoming whatever you need to find the inner strength to deal with so this is going to be very positive May is the energy of justice so there is going to be some unjust situation that needs to be balanced out okay so your intuition judgment call is going to be coming um, with this the energy of justice and yourself 
um, it, it, um, to know what is going to be transpiring you have to use the energy of, of the extended readings to figure out what is going to be happening okay so in the second portals you have fire 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 you have three times fire you are a fire sign this is the balance that it is giving you in the year 2019 you're working with fire sign energies you have your own energy vibration you have the Leos, the chariot and you have the energy of the Sun so um, it could be you're good in your work so as we look at June the energy of June is at hurt um, energy in the general energies and you have the Sun so you you find balance and you find purpose in your work as we look at the energy um, of the third quarter we have water we have fire and we have air water fire and air now this energy of the moon is the energy of your you're going to be seeing the people who have been working against you and this is in the month of July so the month of July is the energy of the Sun and the, that energy of the Sun is going to be showing you people who have been working against you then in August we have a new start this new start that um, comes with um, the wheel of fortune so this is going to be luck coming in for this new start for you guys okay luck is coming in for this new start with you guys then we have the energy of justice whatever the situation is the energy of justice is here so for the extended reading you will know whether or not this um, situation that you have been dealing with if you're going to be overcoming this because this is coming out in the month of September with the energy of justice the star is there so hope is there so it's not a win-win situation okay hope is there now as we look at October there is the energy of the tower and the hermit so something is going to be ending abruptly in your life in October and the energy of the the hermit is there to let you take a good look at what it is and why this thing become an abrupt end the eye princess is in the month of November and your own energy vibration is in the month of November and the eye princess wants you to connect with your guides because they want to show you something why something ended in your life it could be um, it could be so many things we're not sure yet because we're not we haven't been looking um, fully um, as we go to the extended reading you will know why the, the, the energy of the hermit and the eye princess coming up together they want you to find your true spiritual guide your true spiritual intuition and listen to your guides in the month of December energy of organization this is people situation um that is coming up in your life the month of december is that you're going to be seeing your enemies in an organization that means you're going to be seeing people who haven't been the most honest to you in a, in a group of people or in an organization so it could be in church it could be um so many situations that could be happening for you guys okay this year is showing up a lot of people enemies the moon is keeps on coming up coming up it's in the general energies and it's also coming back there this is a year of judgment for you guys it's a year of judgment okay you have you're dealing with the energy of uh, seven to nine and write this number now one one seven whatever it has to do one one seven and nine that is what you're working on in this um, year as we look at the lovers there is going to be some divorce because um, the lovers there's going to be the end of a marriage and some divorce that could be leaving your life in October okay um, it's as if you you have seen something a secret or found out something about your partner and uh, there is justice so um, you could be getting divorced energy of the star and the real of fortune something good is about to enter in your life this could be coming in the month of February or the month of uh, August something good could be coming in your life there is judgment there is 
something that is going to be happening to you guys and uh, um, some luck is going to be coming in in August the magician and your enemies okay so you're gonna be seeing what is happening you're gonna be seeing how things are working you're gonna be seeing the people um, who have been working against you you're gonna be seeing clearly your enemies so now we have the energy of the chariots and the Sun um, and you're going to be victorious and with that victory you're going to be receiving success the eye princess is here with judgment because the eye princess is going to let you see something about yourself that you didn't want to see okay so whatever is happening um, it's going to be very powerful because what is it transpiring is that the eye princess is basically going to let you see something of yourself because the eye princess so the eye princess and the hermit so the eye princess is uh, the central of your reading it is uh, the, the cap of your reading and uh, you have the energy of the hermit now the hermit comes back in October and November so October and November is going to play a significant role in your life whatever the situation is whatever that is transpiring you are going to be seeing and realizing that this judgment call has to do with the energy of the tower um, in the month something significant something is going to abruptly leave in your life in October in November you have the eye princess that is your spirit guides is really wanted you to see to understand what is happening what has transpired okay so the eye princess is here because she wants you to be awakened she wants you to understand what is going on she wants you to be awakened there's a lot of balance that you guys have in this year that is good because you have a lot of fire energy that is balancing you out which energy of the chariot which is moving you moving you to a better place within yourself and within um you know it could be moves that you're going to be making but it could be you healing yourself also and this is going to be good so there is a lot that is going on there is simply a lot that is going on okay there is simply a lot that is going on so you need to be aware of these things that is about to transpire in your life okay a lot so you have water and star and hair so you have water um, water hair air in the beginning of the month go back and listen to um, the um, the readings and please download the extended readings you Aries because what is transpiring is that you Aries there is so much that is happening for you guys in this year and with justice coming up um, there is a significant role that is about to um, play some of you are having a situation with an organization um, so be aware and be aligned with the energies because whenever judgment is here because judgment is focusing judgment it's as if your spirit guides wants you to look at yourself it's as if your spirit guides is saying to you it is important that you look at yourself look at who you are look at what you have been doing okay it is it is in peril that you do that so um, and with the energy of the lovers you and your partner is going to be in conflict um, and this conflict is going to be ending up in divorces for some of you so with the general readings and it's going to affect you women justice is going to come against you women 45 years and older okay all right let's look at the animal totem the animal spirit guys that is going to be helping you so we're looking at the first half year for you guys and the first half year is uh, you guys are very balanced because not a lot of people have their own energies coming up as the balancing of uh, um, the year okay and as we look there's water 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 um, and 
you are balanced with the fire energies which is going to be helping you but the hermit it's showing you a judgment call and this judgment call is about people around you okay you're going to be seeing people for who they are okay um, with an organization group of people there's going to be a judgment call but you're going to be overcoming this judgment call okay let's see what's coming out what well, spirit guide is going to be helping you to Phoenix rise from the ashes this is one of the most powerful cards in the deck so the Phoenix Phoenix rise from the hatches in the first six months of 2019 there is going to be a resurrection okay there's going to be a resurrection so this is good because if you know whenever you receive a message so as a Phoenix rising this is going to be very positive It's one of the most beautiful cards in the deck and again ladies and gentlemen I have to apologize I still haven't gotten through reading this book Venus rising from the ashes is one of those spirit guides who are very very powerful because it's about freedom from suffering okay the Phoenix rise from the ashes it's about freedom from suffering and past karmas reincarnation so you're going to be this year is a year where you're going to be reincarnating yourself the Phoenix represent the transformation of the past it doesn't mean running from it it means to build a bridge with the range the Phoenix employs an advanced technique description in the yoga as the burning of um, the impurity through practicing and dedication tapping in the essence of the Phoenix is with us when we recognize we have been suffering for too long something must change we take a stand and decide to live consciously instead of being driven by the conscious mind and it is long a long list of fears and activation okay so stuckness you're going to be releasing yourself from the stuckness whatever that has um you know um, stunting your life this is going to be ending okay so this is good we're going to be seeing what's affecting you guys in the um, what is going to be affecting you guys in the last six months. Um, you have the energy of the unicorn. I love you guys. Okay, all right. What is what is so beautiful about the unicorns is that these are nine dimensional beings. These unicorns are really nine dimensional beings okay whatever the situation is is that these unicorns are um, night dimensional beings and they help the pure of art okay so um, in order for these animals to help you you have to come from a pure place of art okay you really really have to come from a pure place of heart whatever the situation is so be aligned and ready for this pray for um, the the um, horses because the horses is going to elevate your energy and bring prosperity in your life call upon the unicorns um, and they will only come if you are pure of heart so call upon the unicorns and ask them to connect with you like I always call upon my unicorns the king and queen of unicorns and my unicorns to stand with me and around me as I do the readings. This is um, very beautiful because they bring in the unicorn energy purification. Okay, so I'm going to call in the angels of love, the angels of healing to come in. 